What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, iRacing dropped an update for the Arca car. Unfortunately, it was not the next-gen update we all wanted, but this car is looking a little bit more sharper. You might notice some minor differences. Today, we are going to be iRacing at Phoenix, a free track on the schedule, meaning tempers might get pretty hot here today. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's jump into the content. 40 laps, we qualified inside the top 10, but I don't believe you're going to be safe anywhere. These cars are on edge, and they will snap in a Heartbeat. Kind of on edge just in case they find a way to block this racetrack. Here we go, boys. Pace car is about to be in. Tires are going to be highly, highly important. We cannot bluster them within the first 10 laps. So we got to take care of the tires. Got to take care of the car. Here we go, boys. Waiting for the leader to fire off. And we are green flag racing from Phoenix. Here we go. Up the third gear. Maybe we can snag a couple positions going into turn number one and two. I'm going to send it in pretty deep here if I can. Deep send on the outside. Want to try to pin this guy down. Potentially snag that position on the number nine car. He's going to wash up the track. He's to my door. We're side by side. I think we're going to have a bumper over him. But look out in front of me because they nearly took it three wide. Here we go into turn number three and four. Remember how tricky the dog leg is going to be throughout the day, man. Trying to take care of the tires. Ooh, almost a bit of contact there in front of me. They're going to hold on to her. We're fighting hard back here, man. I feel like I'm faster than a few guys. So unfortunately... Can't really get away from anyone at the moment. I mean, we're just kind of stuck side by side. Maybe after this number four car gets down to the bottom, we'll be looking pretty good. A little bit sideways. And I've seen somebody get the wall up front, man. There was some smoke coming off turn at number two. Not a good sign. Everyone's getting down to the bottom. They know that's where you need to be if you want to save your tires. We send it in very deep. We're going to pop the wall just slightly. But we're going to hang on to it. Unfortunately, we lost a handful of positions. It's getting wild there in front of me, man. They might be wrecking. Look out going into turn number one and two. Almost three wide. They're going to back it down. I feel like we might need to ride this thing out for one moment as we're running in position number 12. Going for position number 11. Just really struggling on handling right now. A lot of guys up the hill there in front of me. This is going to be big coming off turn number four. Hopefully they can hang on to it once again. I think I'm just going to drop in behind the 16. I feel like I'm burning my stuff up trying to get that outside working at the moment. Big check up. Whoa, somebody's sideways up there. I thought somebody was going to get punted, and we may not be done yet because they might be three wide going into the tunnel turn, back down to two wide. Maybe they are three wide. It's going to get wild right here because somebody's going to send it in there pretty deep, and it might be that black car in front of me. Big contact. Now they definitely are three wide. Coming off turn number four. I'm just trying to split the gaps here and get these positions without it getting too wild, man. Definitely the number nine car is fading after that contact. He's trying to get his car together. Now he's going to try to pin me down and turn number three and four. Just got bumper hooked by the guy behind me. That's what happens there, man. We're going to save it. Jeez, guys are so impatient. Do you not see the traffic jam we have in front of us? Like, there's nowhere for me to go. And then they just drive into your back bumper. got to refocus. We're down to position number 18. But man, I mean, that's the type of drivers you get in this arc of division. Everyone's in bulldoze mode every single out. So we can hope the damage is not that bad. I have caught position number 17. Hopefully he doesn't put up much of a fight. But right now we're basically tail end of the pack after that contact. 10 cars sideways ahead. We're going to go around to him pretty easily. He's out of control. Put me up to P17. Soon to put this car back inside the top 15. We're catching P16 at the moment, almost to his back bumper. I'm going to send it in pretty deep here. It's turn number one and two. I can see he's up there smoking his tires right now. So I think we're going to get home very soon. It's going to be a long drive and put it back inside the top ten. But I feel like we can definitely do it. The 11's out of the group. Now look at the absolute traffic jam there in front of me, man. Somebody might get turned just like I did. And we might gain a handful of positions. Here we go underneath the number 11 car. Let's see if he tries to fight me here. He's trying to pin me down, but we're easily going to go around him. Now, with this new Arca car, there isn't too much different with the handling. It's basically the same thing that we had before. Now, I believe they did update the sounds of the car. They updated the dash, obviously. A lot of things are looking pretty fresh. Definitely taking it out of 2010 and putting it in 2022. But a lot of people were just unhappy with this update, man. We really thought we were getting the next gen, and it just didn't come through this season. Car in front of me, the number 14. He's looking like he burned up his tires, man, because just look at how much we're catching him every single corner. His hands are full. His tires are definitely gone. 
off of that race car. I'm predicting to catch him within the next lap or two at the pace we are currently carrying at. Here we are. We are now to his back bumper. We'll send it in a turn number one and two here. Pretty deep right there. He's been overdriving it a little bit the past couple of laps, and you can see it there. We're just gaining so much there on exit. It's going to be interesting to see if this guy does try to race me for position number 15. Because personally, I don't think he would. At the rate I've called him at, I don't think he's going to race me too hard. I know we can probably make the move next time by in turn number one and two. As we're holding a steady wheel, he's up the hill big right there, man. This is going to be an opportunity to really throttle up and get that position back to the throttle. Here we go. I think he's going to give me the outside. A big surprise there. I thought he would want me to take the bottom. No, he's going to pull over and give it to me. Up to position number 15. Let's see what we can do, man. Still counting on a few crashes here in front of me in the closing laps. I think we can definitely still gain some positions. A top 10, still very possible. We're going to keep fighting, man. We don't give up on this channel. It's going to be two laps to go this time by. Next time by, we'll be taking the white flag, the final lap from Phoenix. It wasn't the day you wanted. There's good days in racing. There's bad days in racing. Today... I guess it was just a bad day, man, but it happens. The leader has now taken the white flag. One lap to go from Phoenix. Will there be any crashes? Will there be any chaos here on this final lap? If we can somehow manage a glider position or two, I'll be happy with it, man. I'll take it. My hopes aren't too high here. Going through turn number one and two for the final time here today, man. And then it's on to the back straightaway. We did completely leave the guy behind me. And on into turn number three and four for the final time. I think they're going to keep it clean. This is a very clean race here today, man. I am going to go through and watch the replay and see exactly what happened with me and the guy who absolutely punted me and destroyed my day off turn number four at the line. I believe is going to be an unfortunate position number 15. You see it here. It was only lap number five. There are three wide in front of me. Obviously, I'm not going to shove it in there and go do this on lap number five. They're getting pretty racy. I followed the number 17 car on entry. Smart move by me. Backed my corner up. 14 ran in high. The bottom groove was open. He just hopped down, just drove through me like I wasn't even there. And even after he got me, he still stayed in the gap. No idea if he did apologize. Yes, it is racing. But man, I mean, you just, you hate to see it right here. I mean, just looking so clean. Just get hammered in the back bumper. Luckily, we didn't take any damage off that, but obviously that isn't going to be too good for the tires. And look at all the track position we lost there. We went from battling for position number eight, position number nine, to running an 18th, 19th one lap later. I mean, that gave all the positions to all these guys in front of me. If it was later in the race, it would have been that big of a deal. But with it being that early, you just lost all of them positions just like that. And we might come back and give Arca another try this week. But here today, we really just wanted to take a look at the new car, see if anything felt any differently. But other than that, man, top split, Arca, I felt like it was a good run coming, man. We've been having a lot of good runs lately, just unfortunately, just things like this happen sometimes, and uh, nothing I really could have done there, because what can you do about that? But it is what it is, man. I'd like to thank my Tier 2 Patreon members and my Tier 2 YouTube members for supporting the channel. It means the absolute world to me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Have a great day.